Oh, that's a cute song. Cross that bridge and we come to Robin Alvarez. I've got a whole heap of uh, wind-up doll gags here, but I'm not going to use them right now. I'll get the Bee Gees in later, and they can help me read out a few. And I'll get the audience, if you will, to listen to them all, laugh if you can, and tell us which one you think is the winning one. That way we'll award the album of the week. You know, uh, it's a great thrill to know that a show is highly rated. You know how they do the ratings? They go into homes, they call at homes, they make telephone calls. Sometimes they leave little charts which people fill out. And ratings are very important to the success or otherwise of any TV show. And I just want to thank you very much for your support because Bandstand is, I think, more highly rated in Sydney than it's been for four or five years than it's ever been in Melbourne. Thank you very much. Right around the country, we're, well, we've got a lot of loyalty and a lot of support, and that's great to know. There was another thing I want to talk about. A lot of people say, how do you replace Bandstand regulars, Bandstand family, uh, who go overseas, like Lana Cantrell and uh, Patsy Ann Noble, the Allen Brothers? We don't try. We do look for talent, and when we think someone has got a lot and maybe needs a good break and good push along, then they become a regular member on the show, and in this way we help. Yeah. Fellas, have you sorted it out yet? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Our audience, are you ready? We'll ask you to judge which of the best wind-up doll gags. So who would like to lead off? Number one. All right. All right. A Prime Minister doll. You wind it up, what happens? Wind it up and it comes to Australia for holidays. <laughs> <laughs> you have one, Barry? Yeah. The Chubby Chugger doll. Cannot be wound up. The key is twisted. <laughs> Would you like to try this one? When the Boris Karloff doll. You wind it up, and it's the last doll, the last doll you'll ever wind up. What else have we got? <clears throat> We've got a couple here that I think must go very close. There's the comedian Ben Casey doll. You wind it up, it'll have you on stitches. <laughs> You want to use that one? For sale, one discarded Eddie Fisher doll. Only slightly used. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the crazy Guggenheimer doll. You winded it up? It won't do nothing. <laughs> so which one do you think? Which one would you say, audience? Ben Casey. The Ben Casey? Ben Who's in favor of Ben Casey? Oh, this isn't in favor of I know, I don't mean like that. The, the doll. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll say that the Ben Casey doll is the winner for this week, and if you at home can think of some good wind-up dolls, let us know. It's an album each week is awarded the best wind-up doll gag. We'll rejoin you in just a moment. See you then. <laughs>